connected to our brains with tiny wires, this microchip is synced with AI, enabling humans to control anything from prosthetic limbs to computer games. Um, you do a lot. Um, it's sort of like if your bone went at your brain or something. The fourth industrial revolution describes the emergence of artificial intelligence and how it integrates more with humans. Artificial intelligence, or AI, can already be seen in our daily lives, from how we check out at the supermarket to how we check in for a flight. But it's far more advanced than most people realize. In August 2020, entrepreneur Elon Musk gave a demo of his new company, Neuralink. Connected to our brains with tiny wires, this microchip is synced with AI, enabling humans to control anything from prosthetic limbs to computer games. This working proof of concept has already been fitted into people. It has the potential to completely transform the way we interact online. So there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. Um, it's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. It's a cyborg. It's a, it's a combination. It's a combination of electronics and biology. Yeah. Things are getting more and more connected. If you know enough biology, and you have enough computing power and data, you can hack my body and my brain and my life. A system that understands us better than we understand ourselves can predict our feelings and decisions, can manipulate of feelings and decisions, and can ultimately make decisions for us. Now, in the past, many tyrants and governments wanted to do it, but nobody understood biology well enough, and nobody had enough computing power and data to hack millions of people. Neither the Gestapo nor the KGB could do it. But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable animals. The power to hack human beings can of course be used for good purposes, like providing much better healthcare. But if this power falls into the hands of a 21st century Stalin, the result will be the worst totalitarian regime in human history, and we already have a number of applicants for the job. 